So there are some verses that I've been trying to memorize, some of them just in general for me, some of them specifically because I gave them to kids at the end of camp to memorize and because I thought these are the ones that would help them. And if I'm going to come up alongside them and try to help them grow, I have to know what I'm talking about and know what I want for them. And I have to be an example. Uh, this one, John 3, 16 and 17. 17 for a while was one of my favorite verses back in high school. Uh, just because people don't continue on very often with after John 3.16, and I think that's really a shame. Um, but uh, I used to have it memorized and I hadn't for a while, so it's just what I was using in general. But uh, it is, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. And that's... That's what I got. I hope I hope it's good. Well, I guess it is good. It's by definition good. It's good that God loves and that he sends and that he saves, right? Like those are all the verbs that are associated with God. Those are all the things that he's actively doing in this. And I, that's good. All the things that he's doing are good things, saving, sending, loving. Those are all great things. Yeah. I don't know. I like looking for the verbs, uh, especially when we talk about God, because God always seems to be doing stuff. He's just always starting stuff around here, and we just kind of have to go, all right, guess you made the world. We kind of have to deal with this now. But he only ever does good things, and that's cool.